Let's go exploring with Daniel Cook right here on the Veritable Quandary. Here we are! This is Daniel Cook at the Science Center. Hi, I'm here with Kathy, and today she's going to take me around the Science Center. This is Daniel Cook on a bike, in a plane, on a farm, playing games with many places and friendly faces. We'll have lots of fun with Daniel Cook. Put your foot here on the pedal and you'll get air coming out, okay? Now, this is called the Bernoulli blower, but what we're gonna do with it is instead of you putting your face in there, I want us to put a ball in there and we'll see what happens. So, whoa! What just happened? Now, do you wanna figure out why it's doing this? Yeah. or the pushing power is changing as it goes around the ball and that's helping hold the ball up even when it looks like it should fall down. Okay, I think why don't we head over to the house? This is Daniel Cook operating the crane. Should we start to do a bit of constructing? Sure. Okay. I want to operate the crane. I want to go up. Do you want to go up to the top? Yeah. All right. Careful, careful. All right, guys, let's build. Okay, nice job. Looks really good. Excellent. We need more shingles. Shingles are coming up. Bye, Chuck. Hey, Daniel, nice pattern. So, what did you think of this area? Now, what did you think you learned here? About how to build. You learned how to build things. Was that fun? Yeah. Do you think it's an easy job or a tough job to be a builder? Tough. I think it's a tough job to... What about when you were the crane operator? Did you learn anything neat about that? You can, you can use them to help you. Absolutely. You can use them to help you. And that's the cool thing about machines is that we use them because they help us do a lot of different things. In this case, it helped us do a lot of work and we didn't have to use up a lot of energy. This is Daniel Cook learning about camouflage. Ooh. Now this is our camouflage wall, but before you take anything, you need to come over here and decide which background you like. This one? Okay, so you have to help me move it. You have to push it that way. Okay, now, if you were an animal, and you needed to hide, and this is what the background or the environment looked like. What do you think you would need? What color cape? What's your favorite animal? Mm, a whole bunch of them. A whole bunch? Like what? Yeah, like cobras, like cats and dogs. Oh, okay. Where's the front and where's the back? Now, for animals, this is really important because they need to hide. Why would they need to hide? Because if somebody, that, if there was an animal that was going to eat that animal, they'd have to hide from it. Exactly. But you know what? There's tons of other stuff in Kids Park to see. Why don't we go find something else? Yay! Yay! Okay, let's go. Keep turning. So what you're doing is the water is getting picked up here, and you're lifting it all the way up, and you're going to fill up that big area up there. And once we get that filled up, we can open up the dam and let all the water come out. Now what well, we need to do is build well, a path. pass. What does this do to the water? What does it do? Well, it's going to force the water to move in different directions. And sometimes when water is forced to move into direct, different directions sometimes and through different water, areas, sometimes, sometimes the water will move faster or slower. When are you going to open it up? It's right almost flooding up over. Right. Dams 
are used to keep water in a special place, and so that's really kind of what this is. But if the water gets high, the dam doesn't work anymore, and that's why they're so important. Thank you very much, Kathy, for showing me around the Science Center. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you do come back. Now, I bet you want to go look at some other things, don't you? Okay, well, do you know what? Go have a good time. Woo! Bye. This episode is over, but the very best of my collection is banned on YouTube. To see what you have been missing, go to archive.org and search for Gyro Screw Loose, and I'll see you there.